When you import your photos into Aperture, you can choose where to store them. You can choose to store them in the Aperture library or anywhere else on any other hard drive. If you choose to store them in the Aperture library, this is called working managed. Outside of the library, it's called working referenced. Let's start with managed. If you choose to store your files in the Aperture library, Aperture will be storing all of your raw, JPEG, TIFF, or any other files that you import directly inside of the Aperture library, quite literally managing them for you. If we switch over to the Finder, you can see what that means. This is an Aperture library. It is a package that is managed by the operating system, and all of your files are stored inside of this. So again, your RAW, your JPEG, TIFFs, or whatever you may have imported are inside of this package here, and you can't get to them. That also means that you can't accidentally throw them away, so your fixtures are safe. There are some great advantages to working managed, and one of them is the ability to take advantage of Aperture's File Vault system. If you go down here to the bottom of the Aperture window, you'll see something called the Vault. The Vault is Aperture's own built-in backup system. We can create a brand new Vault in here, and we'll call it Main Backup. And this Vault will automatically back up all of my masters, all of my versions, my metadata, my adjustments, and so on. All I have to do is click this button here, and it will automatically back everything up. I can create as many Vaults as I like, in as many locations as I like, allowing me to have multiple backups in multiple locations. And again, to update them, all I have to do is click this button here. So that's one of the great advantages to working managed. However, there is an inherent problem with working managed. Let's go back to the Finder for a moment. And you'll see in here that I only have 560 gigabytes available left on this hard drive. Now, while that may seem like a lot, if you're working with a high resolution digital camera, you'll find this number dwindling quite quickly. And eventually, you may run out of space. What happens when you run out of hard drive space? Well, you could create another Aperture library on another hard drive. If we go back over to Aperture for a moment, you'll see that I can go up here to File, Switch to Library, and choose Other, New. And that will allow me to create a brand new library. And I can create that on any hard drive that I like. Then I can start from scratch and have another library on another hard drive. And I can continue to work that way forever. The problem, of course, is that whenever I want to look at my older pictures, I'm going to have to locate and load that older library. So if I want to keep everything in one location, then I'm going to need to start working referenced. Working referenced means that the photos are actually stored in the Finder somewhere else. So for example, if I scroll down this window here, you'll see that I have a couple of folders in here that contain some files that I've already imported. These folders could be on the local hard drive or more likely on an external hard drive. One of the disadvantages of working referenced is that when you back up to the vault, your master files themselves are not backed up. You'll still back up all of your metadata, your previews, your adjustments, and so on, but the native files, the actual master files that came off your camera will not be backed up. So that means you're going to have to rely on another backup system to back those up for you. If you decide to work managed today, but then change your mind tomorrow, that's okay too. Let's take a look at a photo library that I already have imported here. And let's just say that I've imported these as managed, which in fact I have, but now I've changed my mind and I want to move them referenced. I can do that from the file menu. By simply choosing Relocate Masters for Project, I can relocate those masters to any other hard drive that I like. Alternatively, if I've been working referenced but decide I want to work managed, I can choose this command here, Consolidate Masters for Project, and that will bring all of the photos that are referenced inside of the Aperture Library. So you can go back and forth as often as you like. Now, if you do decide to work referenced, there is a decision you're going to have to make as far as how to store your files. Let's go back to the store files here and choose to store them in the pictures folder. Ideally, you'd probably have them on a separate hard drive, but this works for now. You'll notice that when I select this, since I'm currently importing files off of the hard drive, I have a choice of either moving the files into the new location or copying them. If I was importing these off of a CF or an SD card, this option simply wouldn't be there. Aperture will only allow you to copy the files off of the card. But there's something underneath that that's more important. Here we have a subfolder structure. This allows me to decide how these files will be organized inside of the Finder. You can choose to organize them into a project name, into the current year, month, and day of how they were imported, into a custom name, or the one that I prefer, image year, month, and day. By choosing this structure, as the photos are imported, a new folder for the year, and then for the month, and then for the day will be created. So you'll have, for example, a 2011 folder, and inside of that, a folder for every month, and inside of every month folder, a folder for every day. Then each of your photos will be stored chronologically like that. I find this method to be very sensible. I do shoot a lot of photos, so this helps me to keep things organized by date, which is how I tend to think. Of course, you can use any format that you like, but as you'll hear throughout this training, consistency is key. Whatever you decide to work with is something that you should stick with.
And if you change your mind, you can always go back and move things around later, but you will want to be consistent again and move everything the same way. That'll make it easier to find your photos down the road.